This is crazy, man. I've been sitting here for like the past 15 minutes listening to the ice cream trucks. And then there was another thing going, bam, 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 and, and some other noises. And I'm sitting here going, what, what in the world is going on, man? This is like a quiet Saturday evening in Bushwick with engines and, and calliopes and buzzers and that guy on the internet I'm watching this doctor tell us about how we're all disconnected from our emotions because of the wireless society and the electro smog is switching off the parts of our brain that connect to each other and connect to the deeper parts and we're functioning more from our reptilian brain where we're happy to be cold-blooded and murderous and enjoy hurting and disconnected from who we are, our God, our world, our lives, our love and we're in this super conscious mode and I'm sitting here listening to and going my goodness what a twisted world I'm living in and I got the high frequency going here you see behind my head the little alien face in my in my uh, design there and here's another one over here a little alien face right there this is the Archon programming. Here's another one, a skull right over here, uh, right there. It's the Archon programming, and if you look and zoom in really, really close with your macro zoom-in lens, you will see the faces looking at you from every piece of media that you find. Now, whether this is just something they've done to my brain, uh, part of the brain that recognizes faces, or it's uh, some kind of, um, you know, because I find it, when I zoom in on these pictures and I take them apart and I look at them, I see all these little things <laughs> looking at us, and I'm wondering, what does this have to do with uh, the control and cognitive dissonance and wanting people to feel that they're always being watched? being seen and being noticed and known and, and surveilled and uh, afraid and this is my world and it's really insane I did not ask for it I do not understand it I'm barely surviving it and one day God will decide it's time to take me home but until then, please, human beings, wake up. Wake up before it's too late. God bless us all.